Hi, this is Alex Degg with EXP Realty. Out here in Strathmore Manor, we've got this beautiful home behind me. It's just off of Bardstown Road. It's got four bedrooms, one full bathroom, unfinished basement, tons of space. So let's go take a look inside. And if you have any questions about this home, feel free to contact me anytime. My contact information is in the description below. My direct number is 502-439-9821. So I hope you enjoy the tour. into this house first thing is straight into this living room we got a fireplace over there we got three big windows letting in some natural light got this beautiful tile work around the fireplace which is in really good condition and the fireplace itself and through the living room goes into the dining area with hanging chandelier there and two windows, it's a nice open room this, lots of natural light. Go through the dining area, and then you have this, I would call this an eating kitchen area. You could put another little small kitchen table in here, which is connected to the actual kitchen itself. If it was me, I'd see if this wall could be removed and open this up into one big kitchen. Even take down this wall, depending on if it was low bearing, and open that into the dining room. But here's a kitchen. It's a large, it's a wide galley style. And then off the kitchen, we do have a small sunroom, which leads out to the backyard and the garage. And going back through kitchen and the eating area, you have those built in storage as well in the corner there. And then through this door, we have downstairs full bathroom. And this is the only bathroom in the house at the moment. So we've got the sink, toilet, shower, tub. And tile actually looks in good condition. It could do with a regrout, it does look in pretty good condition all the way around and got some built-in storage there behind those mirrors and then to the side of that we have the first bedroom which for size wise you could fit a queen in here full or twin would probably be better and we've got one closet in here and then next to that room we do have an adjoining door here. You could go back out to the hallway and use that door. So we have, that was the door adjoining those rooms which you could lock off. This is the second bedroom. Two windows in there. It's a decent sized room. You could fit a, could fit even a, fit a king in here. Queen in between those two windows would probably be best. And then this is sort of a Jack and Jill style closet setup. So we have this little walkway between the two rooms and then there's a closet either side. This is a pretty deep closet. And you could have this as sort of, this could be a third bedroom. They could also make a great office as well. This is to the front of the house, got two windows there. If you were to use it as a bedroom, you could fit a queen size bed in here and still have space. Going back through, we have a little coat closet in here, a little storage closet. And we have looped back around, so that is the living room and the front door where we came in. And then we do have the hallway there. To the right there is where the kitchen was. There's the full bathroom and then the bedrooms along this wall. So then through this door in the hallway, we have some stairs going up to the second floor. And at the end here we have what could be used as another bedroom. Have the windows and closet storage here, which actually is more of an unfinished attic space, but I'm sure they used it as storage. And then 
Around here, we have just some loft area space. There's no built-in closet in this part. And then, go around. Here we do have what could be used as a bedroom. This does have a closet. Two windows there. And there's the closet for this room. Two windows up here, so good amount of space up here. Especially if you were to take down that middle partition, open this up, make this into an actual real bedroom. Then we'll head back down and back into this hallway. We'll go right here. And then there's the kitchen and the bathroom. And we have this door here to go down to the basement and the unfinished space. And then this is great, which could be finished, all plenty of storage space. So you have this large open room here, goes through, little sink in the corner. And this is where your washer and dryer would go. And just some more unfinished space. And then we've got a door going up to the backyard through there. We've got your water heater. We have the electrical panel in the corner over here. Some more unfinished space. We've got the HVAC in this corner here. And then still moving around, we've got more un unfinished space with some workbenches. And then we have Empty little storage room in there, empty little storage room in there, and then this little bit for storage here. So tons of potential down here, which is great for storage. Now, as I'm sure you were aware on this tour and noticed that this home does need a lot of work. The floors could be refinished, the walls could be done, some electrical updates, plumbing updates. So, Although the home does need a lot of work, there's so much potential here. The footprint of the home is great, especially the potential for this half of the house with the kitchen, dining room, living room area. If there was some modifications you could make to the wall here, open the space up. And these hardwood floors, they feel sturdy as they look. They could do with some work, but they feel really great. This whole house just throughout. Just need someone to come in, really give it some TLC and make it what it could be. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions about this home or the Louisville real estate market in general, please reach out to me anytime. My contact information is in the description below. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.